What's up guys, Mark here, back with another quick design tutorial. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I create this cool kind of line effect through my type. Uh, and it also has a few other practical uses as well. Like you can see, I've made these colored sort of gradient lines and then even just a weird gradient through the, the type as well. So it's really quite simple to do in Adobe Illustrator. So, so to create this effect, you really only need two things. Some text is the first one. So I'm just gonna use the word hello again. Uh, and the font I'm using here is DDC Hardware by Aaron Draplin, if anyone's curious, which is a very good font. Uh, Aaron's also an awesome epic designer and has some pretty cool Skillshare courses too, which I've checked out. So anyway, the next thing you're gonna need is to use the brush tool or the pen tool, whatever you prefer. And I'm just gonna draw two wavy, kind of weird looking lines. Nothing perfect, nothing specific. Just draw two lines, however you want. I'm gonna draw them kind of like a ribbon or something, I guess. Oh, that one's pretty bad. Let's just draw, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna draw that one. And then I'm gonna draw another one at the bottom. It's gonna be completely different to that one. So a bit of a different pattern. Okay, so now uh, for this one, I'm just gonna keep the lines black, which is creating that effect that's in the top left corner on the on the Hey Mate text up there. So I'm gonna highlight both of these, then go up to Object, go down to Blend, click on Blend Options. And what I'm gonna do is use specified steps. Basically what this is gonna do is create a whole bunch of copies in between these two. Uh, and the number here basically determines how many copies there are going to be. So the more lines you want, the higher copies you would use, the higher steps, sorry, you would use. And if you want less lines, you would use only a few copies, few steps, sorry. So for this one, uh, I'll just click on, I'll just go with 20. Now you'll notice nothing's happened yet. That's because I have to go to object, blend, and then click make, or I could just go Alt Control B. All right, so you can see there that it's it's basically created a bunch of copies, as I said, between those two lines, which creates this cool kind of ribbon flag looking effect. So what I'll do next, I'm just gonna actually shrink this down a bit uh, so it fits. I'm gonna grab my type and right click my type and then arrange, bring to front, so it's in front of these lines. Then all I have to do is highlight both of them together, right click, and then make a clipping mask. So you can see now that it's kind of cropped those lines to the shape of the text. And then all I have to do just to make the text a bit more solid, a bit easier to read, I just double click in here, select my text, and then add a stroke to it. And I'll just bump that up to match those lines a bit like that. So there you go, it's some sort of zebra looking stuff there. So for these two examples here, uh, for this, this uh, greeny orange one, I did the same thing. So I'll just type hello again real quick. Then I drew two more lines. This time I wanna make one of them one color. I'll just pick green again, and I'll make the other one a different color. Uh, this time I might pick blue just to mix it up a bit. So this time, uh, I'm gonna select both of them and then go to Object, Blend, and Make. So you can see where it's sort of getting that effect. And I think in this particular example over here, I actually had a few more steps. So what I could do is actually go back to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and just bump that up to say 30. But if you click Preview, you can see as well the update, which is pretty handy. So that's pretty cool. And then once again, make sure my text is in front. Select both, right click, make clipping mask, and there you go. And finally, I'm just gonna undo that so I can reuse the same one this time. But finally for this one over here, the G'day that's looking a fair bit smoother, uh, it, it's the exact same thing. The only difference is that I used a lot more steps and I used so many steps that there were so many copies that it started to create a smooth gradient. So if I go back to object, blend, blend options, hit preview, I'm gonna bump this one up to say 60. Uh, not quite, let's try 100. There you go. So now with 100, I've created a, that smooth gradient to that same sort of shape. Again, clipping mask, and there you have it. 
Also guys, I apologize I forgot to mention this earlier, but what you can do is if you're not quite happy with the lines that you've created, you can use the direct selection tool or press A on the keyboard and you can actually update the paths and the entire shape, the entire object will update accordingly. So keep that in mind. So yeah, I hope you find this useful guys. If anything I've mentioned didn't make sense or I wasn't clear about anything, ask away in the comments. And if there's anything in particular you'd like to learn, by all means, pop that in the comments too. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys.